this is a big weekend for LeBron and his family because LeBron James Jr. has been drafted to the NBA. So if we had some applause in the background, I don't know where our engineer is. If he has some applause, we would cue him up. But applause to the James family and for that, yeah, that great accomplishment, yeah, yeah. becoming the first NBA player to play with his son. To play with his son. That is wild. I mean, like, um, was it last episode? Episode before. Last episode. Yeah. You talked about fathers, their legacy, passing it on. Pat, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we learned the art, art of football and how to make it on the football field. Hey, I'm going to give it to my sons, the Mannings, the uh, the Bosa's. The uh, list goes on. And then we got with the basketball. We talked about the Curry's. You know, like, list goes on and on and on. Hardaway, Glenn Robinson, all these guys passed the um, – the art of sports on to their children. But never have we ever seen, especially in the basketball realm, a father and son duo. Right. So I say that's 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 pretty that's that's major. That's major. And then not only that, but somebody of I don't think we've ever seen somebody of that realm of greatness pass it on to their children. Like we've seen, you know, your mid level players pass it on to their kids. You know, years later, but we're yeah. talking about top five, or arguably, inarguably, top five with their sons yeah, go going top out. Go top ten, go ten, yeah. go top ten. Yeah, that's how rare it is. Go top, top 10, twenty, yeah. probably. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, very rare, very rare. Um, now, on the contrary, some people might say his kids is the equivalent of some of the other. Top 10 players, kids, and didn't make it. <laughs> didn't make it. <laughs> but he made it. He made yeah. it. Now, you get into the argument of nepotism it, once we start talking uh, about this. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and it could be some of that. It, well, it is some of that. Man, we keep it above. No, 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 for real. No, no, it is. It is. There's no way to sugarcoat it, but it, it is. Yeah, we keep it a buck, man. You know, I almost tried to throw Bron some bail money, but it is what it is. It's, it's nepotism. But you know, it's just wherever you stand on that side of the coin when it comes to stuff like that. Me personally, I'm I'm torn. I I've never been the the beneficiary of nepotism, but I would love to be. So I'm open to the idea of it. Hopefully, yeah. I get to provide it for my kids since it wasn't provided to me. But you know, I, 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 on one hand, I, I, it is what it is, man. If you can put yourself in a position to look out for those around you, you, Why did, not do you it? did well. Why I, not do it? I, I'm and with I, that. And I say this, right? So his son's taking a, a roster spot. But right. the draft, the draft number was appropriate. 50, what, 55, mm-hmm. right? 55. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like he took a first round, a rounder spot. Like if you would have took a first rounder spot, you know, so some some kid who's been busting his tail, not not saying that Bronny James ain't been busting his tail either, but some other kid who's been busting his tail to rightfully earn that first pick spot, you know, to get that kind of cachet for all the hard work that they put in through through um, AAU and middle school, high school, college, all of that, right? He, he took, you know what I'm saying, second pick, second round, 50, 55th pick. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's going to be somebody else's spot who might not even held that spot for a year or season you know what i mean if we being honest a 55 55th pick is definitely a throwaway draft spot it's, it's one of those positions spot. where you might not be guaranteed a spot on the roster at that team you might go to the d league at, at mm-hmm. that pick you might yeah. not get no playing time you might be a development type player at that pick yeah. so that's the pick to go with if you're gonna to go with if you take if a if chance gonna, yeah if you're gonna take a chance and you're doing it for your star player, and you're doing it for one of the greatest pa- basketball players, if not the greatest, for some people's um opinion. Mm-hmm. Why not? Why not? Why not give that pick away for somebody? And also, if it's going to keep them there, you know, hey, look, this is my stipulation. Help my son; he's ready to go. Give him yeah. that spot that you would have given somebody. And I'm pretty sure Bron has enough knowledge; he's been around the game long enough to know that that spot is a throwaway spot. Can you name any other 55th pick in NBA history since you've been following the game of basketball? I can't name not one. Yeah. I can barely name any second rounders. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's it's the pick to take the chance on. Mm-hmm. Now, I understand if you're a Lakers fan, the uproar because you in your mind, this guy LeBron ain't gonna be around much longer. Let's start transitioning the franchise. If yeah. you're a Lakers fan. If you're not a fan of the Lakers, it, what difference does it make to you ultimately? Right. You know, if you if you are a LeBron uh, hater, then I could understand you being upset over it. You know, like, and and we probably have looked like LeBron haters in the past at times, but I mean, we're not, we're not we're LeBron not. haters. So right. ultimately, if he's able to do it, you got it. You got it, bro. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. It's, it don't help towards how people your image and how people view you, but they kind of already got their mind made up anyway. Most people, so. Hey man, do what you do. Like, hey, look, I'm sorry. I just I, hope I, that his son. I hope Bronny. This is this is my concern for Bronny. Mm-hmm. LeBron to the side, but Bronny James. I hope that because your path, and I'm and we keeping it a bean. So I'm gonna say your path has been easier. And I don't like saying people's path has been easier. I don't yeah. like that. But his path is easier in the sense of you're coming off of heart issues. A really poor se- first poor season because of your heart issues. Maybe you're a better player than that, but your your numbers say you average four points a game. Yeah. So therefore, the fact that you got that opportunity, we we know what that is. Now, mm-hmm. most players that father isn't LeBron James that can't get them that opportunity would have to stay in college again because he's 19. He's a young kid. They would have to they would have to stay in college again, prove it the next season. Then go into the draft, maybe, maybe not get picked up, maybe go overseas, build their name, their reputation, and come back and give it another shot. Which is, which, which is he got not, to bypass that, which is why I said he had an yeah. easier route because he got to bypass okay. that. That's the yeah, only reason sure, I'm saying sure. he had an easier route. Yeah, I was, I was like, that, okay, where's it? I, I see where I see exactly where you went with that one, and I, I and I like that, I like that stance because honestly, you know, basketball is a business, right? Right. Sports, are, sports is a business. They're in it to make money. They're not in it to 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 um to lose money, really, honestly. But any any player, any kid trying to make make it to the league, especially even coming off the heart condition, and this is not to, to sound harsh or anything, but most teams aren't gonna aren't gonna be willing to take that chance. You know what I'm saying? Right. Are you 100 percent healthy? Are you mentally there all the way? If that happened to anybody else and they work themselves back. Somebody else is going to want to sit back. No, I need to see more so I can make sure that when I make that investment on making that draft pick, that that's a solidified spot and that guy got what it takes to, 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 to get it done. Or his health right. issues are going to be a, be a hindrance in the near future or later future. You know, they're always they're looking at their investments. These basketball players right. are investments when it comes down to it. So most most players would have been passed up just because of the situation and then also the performance. Not saying that he didn't get out there, he didn't put in work, but but the numbers speak for themselves. You know, you would have had to, like you said, play another year or even two years to go ahead and prove it. Coming out as a junior, you know what I'm saying, years past, that was a a nod. You came out a year early. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's not a bad deal to come out a year early. And and, and even at one point, you had to play a year in in, in, in college. Or you had to play two years because of your age, and you couldn't come out right. until you were night. What was it, nineteen? At one point, that, that was there. Um, they weren't taking anybody under the age of nineteen. I think that was it. Yeah. So you might have had to play two years just because of the rules. You know what I mean? So yeah. Honestly, that is the easier path when you when you put it that way. Yeah. So and because he got that, I hope that doesn't create any type of laziness in the kid. You know what I mean? Like because mm-hmm. he, he he had a. A cushy, a cush, a yeah. more cushioned role than the oh, average. He's, 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 a, he's a silver spoon kid. I he's mean, there's nothing wrong kid. with that. No wrong with that. No. I mean, wait. No, I'm just saying. No, it's not, wrong not with that. It's not. It's not a dig at anybody to say, "Hey, you're a silver spoon kid," because I want my kids to be silver spoon kids. Right. I'm trying to make it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you want to give them that leg up, but you also want to teach them work ethic to make sure that they use that silver spoon to be a benefit, like we see in other industries. You know, you see kids. Yeah. And they get handed the business, handed the keys to the business, even though they were silver spoon kids and still take that business to higher heights because they got a work ethic along with having that silver spoon. Okay, I got a leg up, but now I still have work ethic and I can take this from a 10 to a 20. You right. know what I mean? But right. we also see in so many cases that where your kids are silver spoon kids that I, I ain't got to do this. I ain't got to do don't. this. They I got don't. a Rory at the crib already. I got a Rory at the crib. Yeah. 
Come and on, Bronny's one of those NBA? kids that they got to do it. How he ain't got to come out of college yeah. early. He didn't have to do none of that. It ain't like Bronny's his father that had to do it. So <laughs> I hope that he got that. Me? I hope he got a mama mentality. I hope he got a mama mentality to, to really go out here and show and prove I, I earned my spot. Because I, I would love for him to be, he ain't got to be his father, but I would love to see him be great. I would love to yeah. see him be great yeah. and do something with his opportunity and not just say I made it. You know what I mean? And that's good enough. You know, so we'll, we'll see what he got in him because none of us really know at this point because he he just ain't been that type of player thus far that we got to get a glimpse into who he really yeah. is yet. And it's, so we'll and it's see scary to see that he has improved that on the on the collegiate level and he's on the pro level now. Yeah, with all eyes on him. His that's father a had a lot of attention on him and he 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 overachieved. And, yeah, and I would sure. like to see that he can do the same thing. Hopefully yeah. so. And and I don't think there's anybody, it's like you said, he's not his father. Nobody's expecting. I don't think anybody has that expectation that you need to be LeBron or better or even close in the same stratosphere. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't think anybody has that expectation of him. No, I don't. I don't, but we might all have not have that expectation for the wrong reasons, you know, because we all sleep on him, you know, but yeah. prove us wrong. Yeah. I just hope he got that dog in him to prove us wrong. You know what? That's really that, what I'm saying. That, just prove us wrong. Yeah. Because we don't believe in you, but I want to believe in you. Yeah. If you if he had that mama mentality, I right, they, they're not expecting me to be great, but watch what I'm going to do. I, yeah. I hope the kid got that in him, man. And honestly, I think that more people are expecting him to be, not saying disappointed or let down or for him to be a bust, but they're just, no, nobody's expecting to see greatness. And I hope he, I hope he uses it as a chip to say, you know what? They're not expecting to see greatness, but watch what I'm going to get. Yeah, yeah, because his draft report ain't ain't speaking very highly on him. But they did the same thing with Steph Curry, and Steph Curry's mm-hmm. all time now. So, but you know, a lot of that undersized and not athletic enough, and and not this enough. Yeah, they said that about Steph, man. They saying the but same Steph thing. Had, about Steph had that that tournament run though. He had that tournament run that he made people say on a collegiate level, he proved it. He, he can do it. Yeah, but they made it to what the, the big stage. Eight? That 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 that, yeah. that year that I think he, he, that I he think went, they went on to the eight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He went on a hell of a run, and he he gained a lot of fans. And without that, we wouldn't know him today. I don't believe, but right? Because he right. did it on, he was on able, the big he was stage. Able to give you a glimpse. Mm-hmm. He showed us his greatness on the big stage. We have we have we have no glimpses, zero. You know what I'm saying a few buckets here and there. It's not a glimpse of. You know what I'm saying? Greatness, just quite yet. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see, man. We'll see. Yeah, man. 